so welcome obviously you know what this is welcome to another unboxing video of as you can see suitcases and where I got my suitcase from is these of oh, these this website um, to tell you they are cheap uh, if you go to Amazon uh, they're about uh, these guys are 20 pounds cheaper than Amazon Amazon got exactly the same so it comes in a big box like this obviously they're not gonna have through uh, I think all the suitcases will be stacked inside each other and it comes in a box like that nothing's damaged uh, yeah it might have been being hit around a bit that's fine as long as when I open this it's not you know it's got a hit there but we'll see okay let's get into this okay so I've opened it with my trusty Americans call it box cutter we call it Stanley knife well it's not Stanley knife the reason why they call it Stanley knife now what the reason why we used to call it Stanley knife it was made by Stanley so no other firm used to make it in them days but now yeah box cutter is the right name to it well it, it's the original name to it anyway okay so we have a the first suitcase it's pretty it's pretty uh soft not soft hard but pretty flimsy you know like cheap like maybe it's not going to last a week type of thing what I mean it's not going to last a week it might not even last a, a first travel so let's get it out of the box let me hit pause okay just to let you know um, for the wheels we had a bit of protection for the wheel we had a bit of this uh, form which is good good so obviously if it gets moved around in transit the wheels don't break so yeah that's a, a good way of uh, packing things and sending things to you so it's in this plastic wrapper you got the uh, label there Monzana Traveller Monzana Traveller probably a German name yeah so it's basically I don't think it's that big it's not big big no oh, no I think I think it's small I think it's I think this is medium yeah let me just get it out of the wrapper okay out of the wrapper it's got a wrapper here Monzana traveler little label there uh, see if there's any damage to it Any damage? Can we see any damage? The wheel. One thing I like about this suitcase. Oh my god! Is the wheels. I like the wheels better than my last suitcase, which my uh, son took to US. I like this. This is pretty thick. On my last suitcase, it wasn't. But my last suitcase was miles bigger than this. It was well bigger than this. So. Okay, is there any higher than that? No, okay. Any damage there? Nope, 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 no damage. Okay. Okay, no, right, let's see. Let's do the twist. Let's do the twist. And the TSA lock. Okay, okay, that's why I've got the thing to keep up from there. Always check when these suitcases come if there's any damage from here. Always check. Yep. Yeah. You got a logo there. So right, okay, that's the the large one done. 
let's get the small one out oh sorry medium out okay unzip tip and there we go uh, there's the other one inside here uh, we'll talk about all this in a bit we'll just get this one out and we pause it again nicely wrapped in this plastic you got the label there exactly the same design check for any damages same wheels so I'm gonna measure it with my fire trap uh, cabin one I'm sure it's the same size as this so again your TSA combination lock here so all they're going to do is push this up here and then clamp it in there and in there I'll figure that out later on see if there's any damage nope I like I like the size of how thick these are okay again plastic wrapper on there and then this goes on Okay, let's open or well, let's get into this one and get the small one out, the cabin one. All right, zipped open. Smell the chemically chemicals out of it, plastic and all that. Again, exactly the same design as the big one from inside, but we'll look at all this later on. And the small one here it is, wrapped up, same wheels. Let's get this out. Again, in a plastic wrapper. Let me tell you something, this is very small. It might look big on the camera, but it is really small. I think I've got the wrong wrong ones. Um, again, TSA lock, exactly the same design. Check for any damage. Well, this is so small. let's open this I don't think there's anything in this but just let's just open this and start with what what's you know what you can fit in and what you can't fit in so just check for any damages done lift this up come on come on, come on. Let me grab it on there if you can. okay there we go yes okay that's a, a drop test done. <laughs> Let's open it. Right, the small one, very small. Uh, this is how small it is. I mean, what can you fit in this? Uh, I think it's just your know, like t-shirts, few t-shirts. Uh, put a few underwear and socks in there. Don't put your shaving stuff here. But this one's a full net pocket. Uh, a full net pocket goes all the way across you can put your whatever you want to put in there um, yeah so you can't really put much in here um, yeah you can't put much so it's pretty small it's good for this is good for traveling if you're traveling uh, somewhere for the weekend I say um, if you're going somewhere for the weekend, uh, then the medium one's better. Uh, but my large one, the one that I, my sons took to USA, that was really good. Uh, I got that free, well not free, but it got, I got it replaced by Delta, not Delta, United Airlines. Uh, obviously they damaged my uh, my last one, so they replaced it with, with a really good one. So obviously, yeah, so what you can do with this is you can put stuff in there and then you can just zip this. Let me pause it. You can then just zip it and there's another and it'll just keep the clothes, t-shirts in compact. I think this looks like the zip's damaged. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And the zip's damaged on this. Oh, okay, so you've got to lift it 
So anyway, yeah. So you put your stuff in here. I'm gonna keep this open for the just in case. Let me see if it'll close. That's fine. Okay, that's fine anyway. I'll keep it open. Or shall I not keep it open? Ah, oh, hold on, I spotted something. Hold on. Because when I open it, I've this. Oh, okay, don't mind. If it messes up, I'll return it. What I'll do, I'll keep it closed. Let me try it again. I'm sure there was something wrong with the zip. Okay, I'll leave it closed. And what I'll do, I'll put a drop of gun oil. Not gun oil, yeah, gun oil. Just a little teeny weeny on the swab. And then just put it on here. Because there's something wrong with this. Right, so this is the small one. Let's get into the medium. So here's the medium. Uh, again, you can put your stuff in there. And in there. And zip this up now. This bit... Get. There's two zips here. Oh no, sorry. Uh, there's two zips on the small one. What I mean by there's two zips, just bear with me. Let me pause this. All right. What I mean there's two zips is there's two. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, there you go. This is what I was trying to sh show you. Can you see this? Can you see this zip? It's closed. It's open here, but it's closed there. So I want to know. That's. That, I thought there was something wrong with it. See, that's what I felt. This here opening here. But you see, now it's closed, now it's open, that's what I felt, like here look, so what you need to do when you get it, don't panic, push it that way and then push it that way, so what I was trying to say is, there's two zips here on this medium one, so you can put whatever you want, socks in here, uh, put your shaving stuff in here, and put your and then you can put more clothes behind you and also you can put a little small padlock in here as well so you can put clothes there put a little small padlock here if you're worried that someone might get into it and and then this is how, this is how big it is inside this must be 40 litres this one 40 litres yeah 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 strap thing here yeah because it's small the plastic or the chemical thing. Yeah, I'll keep on closed. I'll keep this closed. Like that. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, um if you're going for about a week, I say just take this. Um but to me I think this is f I don't know. I'll see how it goes. If not, then um I'm still gonna keep them, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'll just buy a really large one if I have to. And then that really large one, I can stack them all in. I'll, you know, when I'm not using it, I can put them all in, in one box. So, so far so good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this is, it's good. The material is good like any other suitcase. Yeah. Right. So, so far so good. Yeah. So if people want to know what this, you know, this is the make, Mons. Manzana or Manzana. So uh, I think it's a German made, made in Germany. Okay, let's get into the large one. Also, the good thing about this and with any other travel bag is you can use the TSA lock as well, and also you can put mini padlock in there as well. So if anyone knows the combination, yep, this will flick open, boom, boom, but then they'll have to go through the padlock. If you have a decent padlock, uh, they will get through it. But one of these cheap small ones, they'll just put a little needle in or nail in and open it. That's one thing good about this, like any other one. So yeah, let's get into the large one now. Again, you can smell chemicals out of this. <laughs> Again, you got a 105 litre in total. You put your clothes in there, trousers, jeans, or whatever you want to put in there, you can put in and then zip this up then you've got this let me just zip that up first there you go again 
in the large one as you can see look can you see this is the pro uh, in the small one I thought what's going on here so what to do is just do this a couple of times and it should be fine but keep it closed again this one's slightly smoother this one's a bit well put a bit of gun oil on that anyway again put your shaving stuff toiletries here put your socks or underwear in there put your clothes in here which I still say it's not big enough for me to take it what what like people are gonna think what do you mean it's not big enough what what, what are you gonna take with it? it's not that it's um with the clothes wise that if I want to take that's fine I'm not you know it's gonna be enough it's the stuff that I bring back you know extra bits you want to bring back uh, as souvenirs you know, more clothes that you might see there and stuff like that you want to bring back it's things like that um, you know you don't have enough space nowadays this the most you can take is 20 kgs or 23 I know people say why don't you just pay for more luggage uh, well, you know but it's you know like these long flights don't get me wrong you know where i'm going you know, i'm getting about 27 kgs or 23 i can't remember but i'll have to have a look at it in bahrain but i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna take that one but i'm gonna measure my fire trap one uh but i'm sure my fire trap cabin one that i've been taking is the size of this i'm not sure don't quote me on it but well I'll, I'll put it to side by side in a bit so yeah you got your strap to keep your clothes down yeah and then you got your stuff to put in there and everything and uh yeah and that's about it let me see what those uh what are these uh, let's see the service portal we send oh is there anything in is there anything in English no anyway lads I don't know maybe warranty something it says pro I don't know let us know and this will be the combination how to change the combination here oh yeah this is instructions for combination how to change the combination is that's in uh, German and that's in probably French probably fluked it and that's in uh, Jordi sorry not Jordi Scouts yes yes it's in Scouts the original number is zero zero zero. To set your own password, please follow these steps. Put the dials B at original number zero zero zero. Number two, press down and reset A with two with a two until you click until a click sound, sorry. With a two the heck are they on about? What two? I think they're on about the tool here, eh? With the tool, what are they on about? You on about a little screw? I'll figure it. I'll figure it out anyway. Throw all that back in there. No, no, don't throw it back in there. Throw it back out here because I'll need it. Right, okay, let me just wrap this all up. Right, here they are, all three. Have you, I don't know if you've, uh, when I was young, I used to, uh, teachers used to uh, tell me a story. Three bears and Goldilocks. Daddy bear, mommy bear, baby bear. Something to do with Goldilocks sleeping on baby bear's bed and breaking it. I can't remember the story. Anyway, so this is how they are together, all three of them. So trust me, they might look big on the, on the video, but they're not big. Uh, especially this one isn't big. Right, so it's got two stages on the pull. So it's got one, two. Same with 
Okay, same with this one. Two stages. Maybe, I'm, I might be wrong. One, yeah. Two, no, I'm right. And the baby bear. Baby bear, go! That's different. That is different. So basically what, what, what it's done, it's leveled it out on all, all of them. So yeah, that's how they look. That's how they look. So what I'm going to do now is compare this one to my fire trap one. But they're saying that's a cabin one. Cabin one. I tell you what I take on cabin. Sorry, no, uh, yeah, cabin, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm sure it's the same size as this. But then it's for some, yeah. If it's the same size as this, then I'll take this into the cabin and take that into check. But let me show you the fire trap one I've got. Right, this is my fire trap one, yeah. Uh, it's a soft one. Uh, it's, it's, it, this is good for the cabin uh, where I can put documents in here, yeah. Uh, I don't know, you can put your charges on the weighing scale here. Um, Oh, my sanitizer here, yeah. uh, and a bit of you know the ones that you can take on the plane. Uh, this is good. This you know you can just refill it if I can take it out. I can just refill it. You know what I mean? Which I will. You don't. I mean, you can refill it with anything really. Yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, yeah. You can put your documents in here. You know when you when you pull down, you've got documents in here. And then when you turn it around, yeah, you can uh, put your documents in here. I think you have documents in here. You know, your boarding pass and stuff like that, and a bit of change. So, that would have been good. So, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, uh, do apologise. It's not. Uh, for some reason, I thought this looked big. You know, same size as that, but it isn't. If you look at it, compare. It isn't. It's about the same size as the cabin one, if you look at it. But the what it what I, the reason why I said it was small is it's just slightly bigger than my cabin one, yeah. But it's more. This this one is more wider, so you can get more in this one. And this one, no. To tell you the truth, I will. What we use in this one. Um, might be using this one all the time because you can get because what it is I can keep my charger see I can keep my charger in here so if I'm gonna put this in the cabin yeah and I need to reach for it and I need a charger I can just zip this and take things out for passports and all that I can just keep it in here you know zip it behind here once I'm done with it put it in zipped and I'm done yeah so I'll be using this most likely and plus I can get more in this as well instead of this one because if there's no pocket you know if they had some pockets inside or something where you can just put your you know passports it'll be fine but yeah um, I just, let me just see Wow, wow, this is even taller than the rest of them. See, with this one, I can just. Now, I say this is a very good cabin bag. Um, uh, show me. Yeah, I say this is a good, the fire trap one is better. I know it's. I know because it's. Uh, soft material that's why they got the zips in here so you can put your stuff in here and everything yeah it's more wider if you just uh, if you from side to side it's probably same same width as that one if you look at that sorry my fingers gone in the way here if you look at that one there like that see that's the cabin one yeah push this forward and get it right to line it yeah, and the height it might be slightly, this will be slightly bigger. And then if you look at the wideness, look at the difference. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'll stick to this one. Oh yeah. I'll stick to this one. Not less. You know, like for my chargers. You know, for your phone charging and everything. If I have a separate bag that goes, you know, one of those man bag or whatever you call them, then I find this is okay to take with you. But if you don't need it, if you haven't got a man bag or anything like that, you can, this is a very good bag for your documents and everything. You know what I mean? So your documents can go down here, uh, your chargers and wires can go here, your passport and everything can go here, and the rest is exactly the same inside, like like that and like that. I will see. Anyway, that's um, the it's, that's the end of the video. And this don't don't, don't get don't let any of this put you off. Um, the suitcase for travel is really good. Forty liter. This is hundred and five liters. Forty liters, and I don't know what that is. I think that's twenty inch. Twenty. I think that's twenty eight inch. That's twenty inch. 20, 24 inch, 20 inch, 24 inch, and 28 inch. But let me tell you something. So far, so good. They haven't come damaged or anything like that. And yeah, September, we will be putting these to a test. And the airline who's going to put them to a test is Gulf Airline. We'll be putting that to a test. I don't know if I should take that small one or not. Um, I'll have to think about it, uh, if I should take the small one or not, but like I said, I can fit quite a lot in that big one as well, but, uh, I'll think about it, I'll think about it, depends on what I take with me, but the good thing about it is, you know, I can put less in there and bring things back, you know what I mean, so, if I need to take some clothes out from them and put them in there, that's, you know what I mean, I can do that but we'll see okay see you on the next one uh, I'm back just to uh, add another thing to this video for at first I was thinking of doing a separate video but I thought, no point just might as well add it to this I have to change the combination lock on this it's zero 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 as you can see uh, when you obviously clip this in yeah and clip this in my other suitcase you didn't have to clip it in like this uh, you had to press this in and at the same time push these two in and then let go and then it used to lock in and then basically change so if I just put change that see if this works no so it goes back to zero oh, got a bit of a small space to work with uh, there zero and then it opens yeah right okay I'm just gonna show you how to change the combination okay so I don't know if you can see right when you get a manual when you get this um, basically this sheet here yeah a b and c which is straightforward yeah a b is these where you can change your numbers uh, i'll just lift it up there that's b all these are b's to change the numbers and that's c to press in to release the zip hooks okay so what you do is first, to, now it's zero, zero, and you want to put your own combination lock. So first thing you do is get a sharp tool, or not even a sharp tool or something, just get something like a needle or something like this, yeah? And can you see this hole here? Hold on, sorry. This hole here. Come on, focus, focus, focus. This one. This you need to push down, yeah? When you push down, you'll hear a click. Okay. Actually, I'll do that again. You'll see it go in as well. 
You'll see it will go in. Let me focus on this properly. Right. See? It's gone down. And plus you've heard a click. Now, if you want to release that button back to the way it was, yeah? All you've got to do is press this. Oh, God, man. Let me do it properly. You press this, yeah? And you'll see this come up again. See? Do you see that? So, now if you want to change the combination, all you got to do is, this is A, this is A, push down, and you'll hear the click. Now go to the B, change the combination lock to say, for example, 0, 0, oh, no, what do I Just do something like, 0, 0, 1, Right, zero, zero, one, just do two, yeah? So zero, zero, one, two, and then press C to confirm, which will bring this thing back to where it was. So we'll press this in. Okay, so that's set now, yeah? So to test it, Push it in, right? Got it on, and then just knock this into nine and see if it works. Yes, it works. It doesn't release. If we put it back to zero, come on, it should open. There you go. So that's how you change the combination lock. And the other thing is, if you want double extra security, I just put a little uh, padlock in there as well. Put these in there. So that's how you change the combination lock. Yeah, simple. Okay, th this is that's all I wanted to add on. So remember, yeah, that's A. The dials are B, and that's C when you get it. And I'll show you on here. Again, what they're saying is A these dials B and that's C so when it's asking you to use a tool on here it's better just get a pin like this or something and it'll do the job okay so yeah that's all I wanted to add to this video enjoy see you on the next one stay safe